ended up getting our first coin uh, today. Uh, wasn't that deep, just under the surface, and it's a wheat scent. And date-wise, it looks like a 1925 right down here. So that's a nice uh, little nice coin to start the day. We haven't been here too, too long. Um, on sites like this, I do test, uh, my style of detecting is to test the areas uh, of the site first. So I tend to move relatively quickly all over the place and then uh, I concentrate my time on areas that I find will be more productive. Well, next target. Nothing extravagant, but I got a buckle. Basic buckle, nothing fancy. Probably uh, early, early 1900s or late 1800s. But, uh, yep, slow pickings here, believe it or not. I'm really tempted to uh, ask the homeowner here if he minds if we kind of hit the field. Uh, he does rent it out to a farmer, obviously, so that has to be taken into consideration too before we walk through it. Um, no crops growing really in there, just hay by the look of it, but. Well, there's Gary through there, just to a little bit to the right of the screen. He's hitting the well. Uh, coming along here, found a couple of pieces of deep trash. Look what I got. Her Monica Reed. Nice. Some old stuff here for sure, nothing new. So, I need coins, coins, coins. I know you guys like the coins and the relics too, but man, I'm looking for silver. I'm looking for the old coppers too. I just want to come away with one or two today. You never know how the day is going to pan out. Well, there's the well. House sat right behind me, right here, kind of on the edge of where the foundation is. Anyway, just coming along from this tree, it's not a really old one. Gary's in there somewhere in the bushes as usual. And, can you guys tell what that's going to be? This isn't the target. That's the imprint. But what do you guys think? Give up. Clock part piece. You guys have seen these before in my videos. And in other people's videos. That's the mount. All the little winders and stuff get screwed onto here. That's what these little holes are for. Those hold the screws and then hold everything else on, but that would have been a part of an old clock, maybe a grandfather clock or something a little bit bigger. But that's pretty cool. Actually, um, by the time you're watching this video, one of my older videos uh, there, maybe not too long ago, maybe the last couple of months or so, uh, Kirk found a huge, huge a uh, piece of a clock, either a grandfather clock, and it was just loaded with all, pretty much everything on, on the inside of a clock, all the guts and everything. I've never, ever <laughs> seen anything like that. You literally dug this out of the ground? Yeah, and it rang up, obviously, it rang up beautifully, It's but it's all brass except for the, the springs, the springs wow. are steel. Wow, look at that. Wow. It was only about two inches under the... Uh, under the ground. Under the ground, yeah. Unbelievable. I'd like to challenge anybody watching this video right now to post a find bigger than this that would come from a clock. Good luck. That's unbelievable. That's got every mechanism almost in it. That's sweet, man. Early 1900s, maybe. Late, late 1800s. That's from. But that came up a pretty strong signal. Uh, not too deep either, just under the surface, maybe four inches, something like that. Just about to flop this over and pat it down. And then I saw this little tiny edge here, see that? Just sticking up. There's a little gear. Cool, eh? That would have come from the clock. Sweet. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Let's run the pinpoint around and see if there's anything else in the hole. When you get little bits of chirping like that on a pinpointer, the odds are it's just little bits of metal and stuff. Look, little bullet casing in the same hole as the clock part. Always check your holes, you never know. You never know what's gonna be in the same hole. Not very deep at all. Anyway, dug the plug. 
that's exactly the way it's sitting when I flipped it. Look at the size of that. Wow, look at that. Unreal. Wow. That is one giant bell. Here, Gary, I got yours, bud. <laughs> I got the outline for you. I don't see the ball in it anywhere. Sometimes it's in here, but anyway. Wow, that's huge. That's one of the biggest bells I've ever scored. That looks nice all cleaned up. Yeah, it would. Wow, and it's intact too. You can see there's a little bit of a patina coming through. Yeah, that's gonna come out pretty nice, Gary. Large target. We're getting a lot of that stuff over here, but wow. And we're getting shot at too. Some guy's shooting ducks or geese or something on that property that I showed you guys. I'm pretty sure uh, the remnants of some of those shots are coming through the trees here. Me and Gary are hanging low. So hopefully we don't get shot. Anyway, that's pretty sweet. Let's keep moving. Another relic dug. Look at this. Any idea what that is? I thought it looked kind of like a lantern piece. See the edge there? Here, hold on. Oops. See this little clip? Hmm. This is a little thicker than your, uh, the ones you usually get. Different design too. Never seen anything like this before. Look at this. You know what this almost looks like? It looks like, hmm, I found something similar to this, but smaller. It's, uh, it almost looks like a nautical clock with this thing right here. That thing? A little dial. Yeah, and that's, setting. that's different. Yeah, and this is different too. That could be off a nautical clock. Because it is, I mean, the location we're at now, maybe, right? Well, yeah. Might be a possibility. Right on the shore, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. That's nice, man. Awesome here, there, right, Gare? Yeah, you're yep. still on the grass. So I've wondered on here. Got lots of ground here, right? That's where we were over there. So I'm going to work my way along here and. Well, in the field, got a good signal, 1240 repetitive from all angles. And you'd be a little surprised what I got. Look, it's not a coin. Do you guys remember on one of my last videos, me finding one of these? It's got the thread there and the edge looked like a coin. When Actually, when this was in the ground, this was filled. So it fooled me, but man, that would have been pretty sweet if that was a copper. Unfortunately, it's not. A uh, pretty quiet feel here. I've been uh, detecting this field for maybe half an hour. I'm going to do a little bit more, but the emphasis today is on the field uh, behind me, the grass area, and uh, we're going to come back maybe next week and do the farm field. Now it's been cut, we're good to go. Anyway, that's pretty sweet. Let's keep moving. Look what I got. It's a large compact. Here's the hinge. So it opens, it's got a lid on it. And the ladies back in the day would have had this in their purse. And this would hold makeup and a mirror and a few other little items. I wish one day I opened one of these and there'd be coins in it. This one feels like there's nothing in it. It's pretty light, but I'm gonna open this later on. If there's anything on the inside, I'll show you guys, but uh, maybe, maybe some text or something on this side. And on the other side, it looks pretty clean, but that's a good size. Fit right in your palm. Anyway, that's pretty sweet. We're gonna kick around in here and see if we can come up with something else. Well, there's the well. And I was just detecting just to the right of it down here, getting a lot of relics in this hole here. Just digging around, I've already pulled out uh, a couple of small white porcelain 
buttons just in the debris. And I had a signal just in here. And I ended up flinging something out. Look. See it there? Look at that. That's cool. Hmm. Is there anything on it? It doesn't look like it. Again, looks like aluminum, but definitely intricate and not sure what this is off of. And if you guys have an idea, let me know, but you don't have very much to go off of unless you've seen something almost identical to this. But it is light, it's not heavy. It looks to be aluminum or something similar. And it's got a little bit of an interesting design. Don't know if it's 19 or 18s. Not sure. I don't know when aluminum came into the market when it came to stuff like this, but I'm pretty sure it is aluminum. It was given a high tone. You can see kind of a little bit poking through there. Anyway, that's pretty cool. A lot of relics today, eh? One coin, that's it. So let's keep moving. Maybe we can squeak another coin out of here. And if so, it should be old.